Justin Dees. No making love unless it was a real marriage. And the Emmy goes to... Justin Dees. Justin Dees couldn't be with us tonight, and we accept this award on his behalf. Thank you all. I'm not kidding. I went through every store in the mall. I mean, some of them twice, and no Reva. <laughs> I'll call Frank. You know, he'll get the patrol cars out looking for. Oh, Buzz, they've got their hands full as it is. What? Okay, if it makes you feel better, I'll page Frank and ask him what he thinks. Oh, wait, hold the sled. Here, Santa's helper. Where have you been? What did you do? Close them all? Hi. Hi? That's it? Just hi? No, sorry I'm late. Uh, traffic was heavy. One of the reindeer, you know, got a flat. I'm just Sorry. tired. <laughs> this is pretty. Yeah. Sort of a Frank Lloyd Wright. Christmas morning, Marina's gonna see this and the, the videotape game and uh, have everything she wants. You did get the video game, didn't you? Excuse me, I've got some more presents to wrap. Uh, you know, I, I did go to the store that e Eleni told me to go to, but they sold the last one. What time was this? Uh, a couple of hours ago. And so then I, I went stop. to that... The, um... Stop, stop. Eleni and I were at the mall. We went to the store. They had games left. Um... Would you like to tell me where you really were? You deserve better than this. Well, than what? Um, you know, in the spirit of the holiday, why don't you tell me where you were? I, don't tell me you were out buying a Christmas present for me. The only present I want is the truth. I never meant to lie to you. Oh, well, that's a comfort. I doubt whether I ever gave you any comfort. You know, when I married you, I don't remember asking for comfort. No, you, you never did. You, you never asked for anything. Oh, I'm being heavy. It's Christmas Eve. I just, um, we should be cracking up on a bottle of something and decking the halls. Or do you, would you like to deck your husband? Uh, listen, I just, I'm, I was worried about you. I'm sorry. I'm just, I shouldn't have jumped all over you. You have nothing to be sorry about. No, I mean, if, you know, you didn't have to go to the mall. It didn't make any difference. I was just worried. I just, I went, called out the... The mall posse. You should have seen me. I mean, I, got, I, I elbowed my way in line. You knocked kids out of the way to ask Santa, you know, yo, you see my wife? Is that a smile? Is that a smile or am I just wishing too hard? I just, I, I don't know how to tell no, you. No, you don't have to tell me anything. You don't have to tell me anything. I mean, it's Christmas. It just, it stirs everything up. Come on. It's Christmas. It's Christmas Eve and it's your, your first Christmas without your mother. It's Christmas and your kids are going to be with Josh and Annie. It's... It's rough on you, I know. And uh, if you want to be away from the cranks and the crazies, you know, like me, <laughs> it's uh, okay. You're the best crank I've ever known and the best crazy person. I'm crazy about you. So. Christmas or no, my wife, what's going on with you? I mean, it's what this is about, isn't it? Sharing everything, not just the good things. I didn't go to the mall. So where did you go shopping? I didn't go shopping. It was just an excuse. I went to Laurel Falls to meet Josh. <laughs> Laurel Falls? You went to Laurel Falls with Josh. It's, um... <laughs> he, he wanted to talk. Well, what's wrong with the phone? I'm sorry, I just, I'm, I, I gotta get a handle on this. I, uh, 
Okay. Okay. What did Josh want to talk about? He wanted to talk about Annie. Annie. I mean, that they're going through a, a tough time right now. Well, gee, I would think with the baby coming, they'd be tighter than ever. Well, That's no. Actually, was... actually, Josh is worried that Annie's a little too close to the recovery from, you know, the, the drug abuse. He should have thought of that before he got her pregnant, don't you think? Shouldn't I have said that? It's okay. He wanted to talk to me about Mara and Shane. He, he doesn't know exactly how to tell them yet about the baby, and he thought maybe that it, I, I might be some help. I'm tired. What did you say? I am tired of the lies. I hate it too, bud. Oh, you could have been straight with me. I mean, it's Christmas Eve, for crying out loud. You know what I was hoping for? I was hoping for a good old-fashioned sort of sentimental kind of Christmas Eve. You know, where you stuff the stockings and hang them on the mantle and put out milk and crackers for Santa Claus. But what do I get instead? My wife, with a smile pasted on her face and the lamest song and dance, and I cannot do this. Was it my intention? I mean, it should have been... It should have been... God rest ye merry gentlemen. But no, what do I get? I get... Gee, darling, I'm sorry, but I had a rendezvous with my ex. Or Buzz. Buzz, you know, there really is a Santa Claus. But no, I didn't get that, did I? I got... I got... Wise up, you jerk. Wise up because you're a damn fool to believe in anything, especially your damn wife! Every right to be angry, I know. I... I vote for silent nights! No more talking! I'm angry. And if I say anything more, it's going to destroy Christmas past, present, and future. So I'm just... Give me a chance. I'm going to take a walk. I'm going to catch up with the carolers, you know? And if I raise my voice, it'll be in song. Please try to understand that. Oh, no, no, I do. I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> what? You've fallen in love with Josh again. It's something that was always there. I thought that I dealt with it, the, the love for Josh. I, I tried to ignore it. Yeah. Tried to call it something else. But it's still there. <laughs> it never went away. I mean, whenever we're in the same room together, when we bump into each other, when we talk to each other on the phone, it's there. It walks around with us. Buzz. He lies down with us at night. And it comes between us, Buzz. It does. Why do I keep thinking that somewhere Josh is saying those exact words to Annie? 
right now. Josh has decided to stay with Annie. Oh, well, how noble. Until after the baby's born. She's gonna be interesting for Annie, isn't it? Living with a man she knows is gonna leave her when the baby's born. <laughs> oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Josh has decided that he doesn't want to say that to Annie. Not, not now. Does he seriously think the wife he's living with isn't gonna know he's not in love with her anymore? I mean, I mean it's not gonna work. I should know. Whatever Josh and Annie decide to do has nothing to do with us. Let me, let me ask you this. I mean, why now? I mean, why spill the beans tonight? Why not last night or last week or last fall? I just felt like I was keeping things from you. I mean, they were little things at first, but now they've just gotten to be bigger. Like what? Excuses. To be around Josh. I was coming up with some... Reasons that seem pretty legitimate. Oh, I'll give it to you. They seem legitimate. Well, they were. I mean, they are. When you have children, it's a commitment that doesn't just go away. I know that. I mean, we share two children I together. know. I know. We got married in the first place to protect Shane and Mara. I know. And I was wrong, Buzz. I was wrong. I never should have gotten you involved with this. So what? So what do you say? You shouldn't have asked me to marry you? I just finally realized that I've taken up too much of your life now. And I want to give it back to you because I care too much about you to hurt you anymore. Let me ask you this. This life we've been living, did I make it up? Did I, was it a dream and only I'm having it? I know what you're thinking. Oh, really? Good. Fine. I fill me in. Tell me what it is. Because all these thoughts are going through my head and I can't grab them on the one of them. I understand how you Oh, don't me. give me that. Listen to me. Josh has no idea that I'm saying these things to you now. And I didn't plan this. I just can't live like this anymore. I can't live in this life because I do care about you. You're a decent and loving man and I can't treat you. What this about anymore? the love you said you had for me? What happened to that? Or did I make that up, too? I did love you. I do love you. I loved you the way I knew how, the best way I could. But I just can't go on like this because I know the kind of man you are. I can't do this to you. You're a good man. Oh, stop saying that. You don't know what kind of man I am. You don't have any idea. You say you know me? You know, I find that kind of amusing. Because here I am, staring into your eyes. And, you know, the eyes I've stared into day in, day out, and I find it hard to believe that I ever knew you. I never could have lived with you all those months, Buzz. I never could have cared about you the way I did if I didn't know the kind of man you are. You're kind, and you're generous. You think by saying I'm a good guy it makes everything all right? I, that's ironic. I mean, what if I turn out to be a jerk? I mean, how would you be handling this then, huh? No, wait a second. No, damn it, you're right. I knew what I was getting into with this marriage. You told me. No regrets. No promises. You made it real clear, baby. It was for the kids. To convince Josh that you didn't love him anymore. So he'd go on and live a happy life with Annie. Laura and Shane thought I was dead, and they looked to Annie as if she was their mother. And you thought it was the right person, right? Fine, fine, fine. But then things changed, you see. They changed. Because you changed the rules. You came to me. You came to my bed. And I wanted you. But I said no, unless... I wanted you too. Yes. No making love unless it was a real marriage. So we lived together, we worked together, we fought together, we made up together. We were real good at that. Between all the fighting, living together, everything you said, things changed. It did. You said we had a real marriage. Something worth fighting for. Because it was. And I believe you! So now I'm sorry doesn't cut it. I tried to make it work, Buzz. I really did. I tried oh, so yeah, hard to make it Oh, yeah, but your feelings for Josh got in the way. <laughs> It's just, it doesn't matter. It's, 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 it's past that. Age. Oh, come on. You keep saying that. No, it's true. I can't. I... A lot of guys in this situation would think it was their fault, that they were so dense, they just didn't see the writing on the wall. But I am not one of them, lady. Everybody told me you and Josh had such a great love. I mean, it was like uh, a force of nature. 
They said, Frank said, Eleni said, Lucy said, hell, even Alan Michael said, stay away from it. Those two are just a force of nature. I mean, it's like gravity. You can't oh, defy I it. I told you, Buzz, that this is not about me and Josh getting back together again. He's staying with Annie. You want to stop the lies. You start with that one. Please try to understand. This is so hard on I'm trying, Reva, I'm trying, but there's a cheek in your armor and I can see it. What do you mean? You say you don't want any more lies. I'm telling you, it's too damn late. You asked for unconditional love from me and you got it. I know, it. You said I was unlike any other man in your life. I never judged you, I never questioned you. And I bought the whole thing and now it's coming back to haunt me. I mean, wow, am I stupid. Please don't say that, Buzz. You're right. I'm not stupid. I knew something was up, but every time, every time I asked you about it, you were so damned reassuring. I mean, I gave you opportunities all the way down the line, and you didn't take them because you were scared. You're right. You're absolutely right. Don't tell me, don't diminish this by telling me I'm right. Let's not kid ourselves. I have too much respect for you to live this lie. Okay. So... Well, the jig's up now. There's no reason to lie anymore. Are you telling me that Josh doesn't know you're here right now walking out of our marriage? No, he doesn't. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be shocked. I think he's going to be happy. I mean, he's got a messy situation with Annie there, you know, where they're carrying a baby. His baby. But you'll find a way to handle that. You always do. Congratulations. You've gotten what you always wanted. Hey, glad to see you. Dolly, you could use some help out there with the dinner rush. I need to talk to you. <clears throat> sure, what's up? What's wrong? I have to go away for a while. When? Now. Now is in tonight? Yeah. Now? Uh, okay. Well, you're going on a little vacation? You, you could use it. I. Is, you and Reva are going. No, no, Reva's not going. Reva's not going away with you? What's wrong? I, can you. What happened? Can What's you wrong? take care of the diner while I'm gone? Yeah, sure. I, I'll hold down the floor. Right, I know I can count it. Wait, Buzz, wait. Uh, no, I really, I gotta go. No, wait, no. Come on. You, you haven't even told me where you're going. I'll call you and Frank when I get wherever it is, okay? No, Buzz, if, if um, Rita's done something. She hasn't done anything. It's me. I've been, you know, walking in the fog. I have to get my head on straight. No, Buzz, wait. Come on, come I'm, inside. I gotta get talk. to the airport. The airport? Buzz! <laughs> feeling I just got dumped myself. You lost a passenger. Thanks. I want to make sure these bags get where they're going. The lady tipped me pretty good. Hi. I want the next flight out of here. Destination? I don't care where it is, just so it's far away. Um, California far enough? How about Houston? Uh, Fort Worth? Uh, these are all direct flights. I don't mind changing planes. What are my choices? Okay, shuttle to O'Hare connects to half a dozen international flights. 